In this podcast episode, the host interviews Gladys McGarry, a 102-year-old author and physician, who shares her insights on health, happiness, and longevity. McGarry is the oldest guest the host has ever had on the show, and her wisdom and vitality at her age are truly inspiring. McGarry started writing books in her 90s and is currently doing a semi-world book tour from her house. She attributes her sharp mind and well-being to her attitude towards life. She believes in always looking for something new and having a sense of purpose. While her eyesight may be poor, she believes that it doesn't affect her insight and her ability to reach out to others. The host expresses his admiration for McGarry's work and how her book, The Well-Lived Life, has been insightful and gratifying for him. He appreciates that McGarry emphasizes that health is not just physical but also mental, spiritual, and emotional. He believes that many books on longevity miss the bigger picture by focusing solely on physical health metrics. McGarry agrees with the host and believes that the purpose of life is not just to get rid of disease and pain but to learn from them. She sees diseases and pain as teachers and believes that our bodies hold lessons for us if we are willing to pay attention. She encourages individuals to find what works for them and to live for something beyond themselves. The host discusses the current focus on anti-aging and longevity and asks for McGarry's thoughts on it. McGarry admits that she doesn't pay much attention to it and is more interested in living in the present moment. She believes in finding purpose and meaning in each day and making a difference in the lives of others. She also mentions the importance of understanding cultural influences on our lives and integrating them into our understanding of ourselves. The host then delves into the six secrets for health and happiness that McGarry writes about in her book. The first secret is that everyone is here for a reason. McGarry believes that each person has a purpose and that it is important to pay attention to what makes them come alive. She encourages individuals to look for their purpose and to find ways to make a difference in their own lives and the lives of others. The host shares a personal story about his father, who worked tirelessly to provide for his family and ended up sacrificing his health. He wonders if his father's purpose was to provide for his family and if he would have considered it worth it. McGarry agrees that sometimes our purpose may involve sacrifices, and it is important to find meaning in what we do. McGarry emphasizes the importance of perspective and choosing how we see our lives. She believes that we have the power to choose our perspective and that it can greatly impact our health and happiness. She encourages individuals to pay attention to their dreams and to look for guidance and insights within them. The host reflects on his father's life and wonders if he was truly happy. He acknowledges that his father may have resented some of the sacrifices he made but also recognizes the importance of providing for his family. McGarry agrees and believes that cultural influences play a significant role in shaping our understanding of purpose and meaning. The conversation continues with a discussion about aging and death. McGarry shares that she does not fear death and sees it as a transition into a different state of consciousness. She also mentions that she has a 10-year plan, which is inspiring given the common negative narrative around aging. McGarry emphasizes the significance of having a plan and a purpose in life. She believes that having a plan keeps one curious and looking forward to the future. She acknowledges that life may not always go as planned but the important thing is to be aware of the present moment and do what needs to be done now in order to move forward. McGarry also challenges the notion of retirement, stating that she never planned to retire from medicine until she had something else to retire to. She believes that retirement can lead to a decline in health and happiness if one does not have a purpose or something meaningful to do. The concept of living in the present moment is another key theme in McGarry's teachings. She believes that being present and fully experiencing life in the here and now is essential for health and happiness. She encourages individuals to be aware of their surroundings and to focus on the interactions and experiences they have in the present moment. McGarry also shares a personal story about finding her voice at the age of 93, highlighting the importance of embracing one's true self and not downplaying one's accomplishments or abilities. McGarry's perspective on viewing everyone as a potential friend and finding the friend within them is also discussed. 
She believes that it is a matter of choice whether one sees others as friends or foes. She encourages individuals to aim to love everyone and to look for the good in others, even if they may be doing bad things. McGarry believes that holding onto resentment or negative thoughts towards others only harms oneself and that choosing to focus on the positive aspects of people can lead to greater happiness and well-being. The podcast also touches on the topic of regret, and McGarry shares her belief that everything that happens in life is there for a reason. She shares a personal story about her divorce and how she was able to find independence and learn from the experience. She encourages individuals to let go of regret and focus on the lessons and growth that can come from difficult experiences. Throughout the conversation, McGarry emphasizes the power of choice and the importance of choosing love and positivity in life. She believes that love is the true healer and that focusing on what one loves and sharing that love with others can lead to a fulfilling and meaningful life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, Make sure to like and subscribe.